So my question is, what would uh, the advice uh, be uh, to a younger person that uh, wants to pursue a career like uh, yourselves? I come from a very normal family. I did the university in Bologna and uh, I applied my CV to a lot of companies and uh, also to Ferrari. And uh, they started my career in financial and fiscal administration. So try to imagine where I started from. But um, of course, you need to take the opportunity you have, but you, you need to believe in yourself and try to be constructive. Always motivated to try to achieve the, the objective that you want. In a contest where, uh, you know, I can understand the complexity of the fact that the, more and more the world is globalized also in terms of uh, more people to try to, to achieve uh, a position. And the competition is higher, there's no doubt about it. But uh, you have to accept that that is a fact. How you can react is just be yourself, work, focus, study. I, I said to, to myself, not to my, even to my kids, to myself, always be in a record mode. Try to learn from every single action that the people around you are taking. Never be compliant with yourself and like it or not, like it, never sit it. You, know, you need to feel uh, the power of the fire that is uh, under your chair that is burning in, in the positive way. And the other things, I know that is not very European culture. Do not be afraid of failure. Because that's part of the game. I mean, if you if you are talking with the American culture, failure is the minimum step that you want that you need to have to grow. In our culture, it's the other way around. If you're a failure, you are destroyed. Don't be afraid of it. Take that as a as a step for you for you to grow as a person, as in a profession. Try to react and be protagonist on what you do. Protagonist is what you want to be. You're going to sooner or later take the, 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 the opportunity and will allow you to grow. Whenever is the role, as I said, that's the approach they should have. And always be constructive. And always, I would say, if I may add the last point, never find excuses with yourself. You know very well that you, when you watch yourself in a mirror, the only one, the only one that knows exactly who, who is behind the, the, the screen is you. So don't create uh, excuse or uh, uh, create problems that are not related to yourself. First focus on your uh, the things that you have to do. And that's the only thing that I really can share as an experience, because as you can imagine in my life, uh, I've burned not only the, the nail, then the finger, then the arm. Uh, so the most important things that the, the burns that you are having are controlled and used in the right way. This is really what I, I advise you because that's what I'm doing. Without reading any books, this is what I'm doing. And this is what you, in my opinion, should, should try to act in everything that you do. A special uh, presentation from uh, Lead the Future, non-profit organization that does mentorship uh, programs for, for careers in STEM. Thank you, Umberto, for the introduction. Uh, Lead the Future is an Italian mentorship nonprofit uh, in STEM. It was founded in uh, 2018, and uh, today there are more than uh, 1,000 members, all Italians, but uh, spread uh, all over the world. Basically, we offer like a mentorship uh, program from people uh, to uh, high school until uh, PhD, and uh, each mentee that is selected uh, is matched uh, with a mentor who can like support uh, their career and their professional uh, uh, development. So this uh, translates into summer internships, uh, scholarships, uh, business ventures, but also a mission to master and PhD programs. So we focus mainly on uh, three pillars. So uh, academia, industry, and uh, startup. So regarding uh, uh, academia, there have been like uh, many uh, admissions to top university programs. Uh, regarding the industry, we have mentors that work uh, at uh, Google, Meta, Apple, DeepMind, uh, NASA, and so on and so forth. And there are also many people uh, following the entrepreneurial path, uh, so doing uh, startups, uh, but also other extracurricular activities activities uh, as hackathons, uh, math and physics olympiads. So all our members uh, share those common values that are uh, excellence, inclusion and collaboration and give back. So we want uh, a community of people that uh, really like what they are doing and uh, they can uh, like push every day to do like the extra mile and become uh, uh, the best in the world at uh, what they, they aim to do. We also think that uh, this is not enough. So in order to achieve uh, great things, uh, it's also important uh, to collaborate uh, with, uh, with other people people and uh, within the community is basically the place uh, where you can find uh, your next uh, co-founder if you want to do a startup uh, 
where you can uh, do collaborations with other universities. The third pillar is the give back. Basically, our mentors do this uh, service for the spirit of uh, give back and they incentivize the university students to contribute to the growth of their own community. It can be their alma mater, like for example, United Italian Societies, their hometown or their own country. So what you can find in the community, you can find a lot of people that are really passionate about what they are doing and they are like committed to like build a better world through research, startup, like academia. And this is like a long-term game. So we basically take people from high school and also from university and we expect that like those people like in five and ten years uh, will be able to be like leaders uh, in uh, in tech uh, and uh, in stem so more on the practical side uh, for example a mentor that is working uh, like in a big tech company can share open positions and we also provide the tools to achieve those things so for example if you are uh, preparing uh, for uh, tech jobs uh, we provide uh, lead code uh, premium we also have uh, a podcast where you can uh, we can share success stories uh, from people within the community and like in the in the italian community and then we organize uh, of course like meetups and conferences online uh, both like in person as for example in this one with the uh, United Science Societies but also around the world and then there are partnerships with other projects so for example the Silicon Valley Study Tour so you're, if you're interested in uh, doing a right. research uh, at Stanford Berkeley or fund a startup there or just go there for uh, for an internship then this is like uh, a good opportunity to like, know people uh, there and they can share basically their experience and how they, they got there here there are just a few uh, testimonials but for example for people in finance there is this guy that just joined uh, during his, uh, his bachelor and then after that uh, he did several internships uh, first at Bending Spoons then Amazon and then at, at Optiver there are people that aspire to become an astronaut uh, that is quite an uncommon thing so yeah. in the community you can find other people that have like the same interest uh, like um, work with them and also they can be uh, an inspiration so for example like Alessio Figalli that started uh, from a, from a college like a Scuola Normale Superiore and then uh, uh, won the, the, the Fields Medal same thing like for an entrepreneur we do events uh, with people like in, uh, in venture capital or also, like founders uh, of uh, billion dollar companies so if you are uh, interested uh, you can apply through the website and also keep in touch with uh, the community via all the social media pages where you can also find uh, all the other events uh, and the interviews uh, with uh, the speakers So I'm Guglielmo and I'm from the UIS mentoring team. Now, UIS is a company, United Italian Societies, and it reunites all the Italian societies of the main universities in the UK to do activities together, activities like this one. It's our first year, but what we're doing is we're matching Italian students with professionals from finance, consulting and law. Essentially, we've had the experience of transitioning from the Italian system into the UK labor market and the international labor market. So I would encourage you to take the opportunity. It's not a big commitment, but it's something that can turn to be very, very useful for, for your career. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. I'm Valentina. This summer, we came up with a new idea that is a Student Unity. Student Unity is a support program for Italian university students. This program is in collaboration with the Italian General Consulate. So it aims at providing further guidance to students who, especially nowadays, might deal with issues due to the Brexit. So, for example, settlement status, pre-settlement status, but also student visas and etc. Also, we deal with uh, passports. So if you have an expiring passport or if you lost your passport or if you have a bigger issue, we can uh, directly put you in contact with the Italian consulate. 